So the theme this year for Burning Man is rites of passage. Um, a few things on the Burning Man front. One, did I tell you I got asked to be a blogger for the Burning Man blog? Very excited about that. I still have yet to get all the technical things worked out. I've got a few drafts in the you know blog, but I can't quite figure out how to get the, the images and the pictures set up. But anyway, um, so I'm very excited about that. And so, rite of passage or rites of passage. Um, so Dimitri had this idea the other day popped in his head. We were watching The Imagination of Dr. Parnassus, which is a phenomenal movie, but there was, there's part of the movie is they go through this kind of mirror, and it's this basically like a passage, a rite of passage maybe, or a transformation. And so he was, he had this vision of a box, a big wooden box, maybe five feet by seven feet by, I don't know how long, like a little call up and it's it's filled with phrases words ideas kind of things that we talk here like the, the the belief system and and then you so you go in the door you accept these beliefs or you you embrace these ideas click a button and then by embracing those ideas you go out the door and you activate it and then you're on heaven on earth as you go out the other door, which I absolutely love. And so we've, we've been playing with this idea of what, what it'll look like, what it'll include. Um, let's see if I have some pictures from our sketching and stuff. Um, very excited uh, about what it's going to look like and how it's going to work. And... Um, And so I, I was thinking that, that it, it, one thing that I might want to do with it is to do, in addition to just like words that say like ideas inside, um, like there's, the, 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 there's a, a portion of my book that's I believe, with all these statements. And instead of saying I believe, we're just going to say them as statements of truth and have those all over the walls. But I was thinking it'd be kind of cool also to have, in addition to just word statements, to have like a video that has imagery and music and ideas that embrace this idea. And I was thinking that it would kind of like be the opposite of Clockwork Orange. You know in Clockwork Orange when they have like the eyes are, and it's this imagery and they try to like, you know, it's all violent stuff to try to kind of brainwash you into having a certain attitude about violence. I'm like, what if it was the opposite where it was like love, compassion, alignment, harmony, nature, beauty, and have all this imagery and th stuff that has to do with that, that is kind of washing you over as you surrender to these ideas of connection and oneness and things like that. So that was, that's the kind of idea. And it would be a part of Pink Heart, I think, kind of a, um, and then maybe even have an element of it where you could add your own things to it. So um, I'm very excited about this because I've been, as much as I love Pink Heart, I've been thinking what, what can we add to it? You know, what what can we? How can we take it to the next level? And I think that having our this this kind of a rite of passage, a a box, a passageway that you know you surrender to, and it, it's like an evolution station. You know, you kind of you evolve your spirit by going through this. I'm very excited. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, for my book, if you go to lovemorefearless.com, that will actually link you to the Lulu book site. And why don't I do this? I'm going to try something, see if it works. I'm going to read the I believe statement. And instead of doing I believe, I'm going to say in this truth. So hold on. All right, and I'm back. An autographed copy. The challenge is um, it, it would cost like twice as much because I'd have to get it shipped to me and then ship it to you. Because um, they, they make them on demand. I don't really get like a discount or anything like that. Okay. Here, we're going to try this. This is from the smash hit book, Love More, Fear Less, Float More, Fear Less. Um, I could certainly do it for you. I could definitely get you a, a I mean, if you want to, like, I'll, I could buy a copy and then reship it to you, and you just, you know, if you pay me, like, an extra couple bucks for the shipping, that's all. Okay. I'm going to take out the I believe. These are statements that might be on the wall as far as the truths that will, you know, by, by 
releasing yourself to these truths, you could evolve and, and, and have a rite of passage into living in heaven. Okay. Heaven is available in every moment. The infinite now is waiting for us like a surprise party crowd, crouched and eager for our arrival. There is only one instance, a timeless, spaceless Mobius strip event of unfolding. Human consciousness is witness to but a tiny speck on the Mobius strip of the cosmos. Human perception can absorb only a tiny fraction of the vibrations that make up the universe. The gift of those minute range of vibrations during that teeny speck of time is still infinitely more than we could ever hope to comprehend or appreciate. Being conscious to witness any of it is a gift beyond measure. Awe is more important than understanding. In birth, we awaken into a finite consciousness, and in death, we rejoin the infinite consciousness. We can go infinitely microscopic or infinitely telescopic and never find the end of a near miraculous order and harmony. We wrongly see ourselves as a collection of memories and socialized ideas layered on top of who we really are. The inner workings of the cosmos, from atoms to DNA to ecosystems to solar systems to galaxies, are beautiful beyond human comprehension. These inner workings of the cosmos have directional flow towards order, rhythm, and harmony. That flow is not something you can understand, but instead must surrender to. That flow can be described as love or God. That love and gratitude are the only human truths. A human perspective can never have a vantage point to judge anything as good or bad. We can only hope to perceive if we are in or out of alignment with love. Each finite consciousness is like a drinking straw being dipped in the cosmic stream. And if all of our social and all of our socialized beliefs are like deposits inside that straw that impede the flow. When we get clear and are in alignment with the flow, then we move through our lives effortlessly, and God's will will act through us. Human consciousness is the universe's way of seeing itself. Human brains have the ability to transcend the physical realm, yet most humans seek to instead shape the physical realm to meet their desires. Shaping the physical realm, instead of working with it harmoniously, is a powerful example of being out of alignment. The state of being out of alignment is to our consciousness potential as a cancerous cell is to the body. Surrender is more important than conquest. There is no such thing as ordinary or extraordinary. Infinity can be perceived in the now. The ability to dance, laugh, cry, make love, and watch the sunset should be enough to make everyone feel rich beyond measure. There are an infinite number of things to notice in the universe, but a finite number of minutes in a human life. Therefore, our choice of focus is critical. The universe is unfolding according to cosmic DNA present since the Big Bang. In this moment, as you read this, as I say this, we are connected. Long before we each knew each other existed, we were connected. And all of the things that I've just said are simply expressions of understanding in the current moment and are evolving constantly. So I think those are a starting point for these statements that would be a part of the Pink Heart passage we shall see.